Hello and welcome to my shop. My name is George and I'm coming to you from Chelsea, Quebec. Um, right now I'm busy uh, sanding the uh, surface uh, of a table it's, uh, in, in ash and uh, for that I'm using primarily a random orbit uh, sander. Um, now anytime you get a new tool into your shop whether it's a power tool or a hand tool this you know to be true there will be accessories and so what I'd like to show you today are the accessories that I made for the uh, random orbital sander uh, in this case I made them out of um, uh, using a 3d printer uh, so they're all plastic uh, but you can make uh, accessories using most scrap materials that you have lying around whether it's solid wood uh, thin plywood um, maybe even some plexiglass. Whatever you have lying around can work for these accessories. Okay, so the kind of sander I have has a, a hole pattern uh, for dust collection. And so I attach it to probably the tiniest shop vac you'll ever see. It's a one gallon capacity, maybe roughly four uh, liters. Uh, and in order to uh, attach it to the hose, uh, I had to make a little bit of an adapter. So here's one 3D printed uh, item. It's got a little bit of a taper uh, to it and it snugs up into the hose and fills the gap to, uh, to the sander. So that's one thing. So you're also going to need a place to store the uh, sanding discs. You'll get sanding discs in a variety of uh, grits. Uh, and so here's a stack of different grits housed in uh, containers that are 3D printed. Uh, so the containers nest into each other. And as you remove each one, the discs contained in the one below uh, are open to you. The one on the top also has this extra little uh, cover. Now it's open. It's in like an eight-sided or an eight-legged uh, spider uh, that fits in. And the bottoms are made the same way. So eight legs. And this way, whether the uh, w whether the grits are written on the bottom or on the top, you can see right away what the grit values uh, are. So again, this thing, 3D printed. And uh, now I have, as as you probably have seen. I've got French cleats uh, behind me, but the place where the sander gets used the most is on my downdraft table. So I have um, a place for these things on the downdraft table and they're, uh, they're held in a cradle uh, that looks a little bit like this. It's not quite this one. This is a reject. I had to uh, remake it, um, but it's a couple of uh, rings or half rings uh, held together with uh, some barbecue uh, skewers that are epoxied into holes. And then there's a couple of mounting holes to put this uh, against the bench or against the, um, the downdraft table. And then the, the stacks themselves or the stack itself uh, fits into the thing. Now, like I said, I, uh, uh, this this isn't the one that's being used. Um, okay. So one of the things that was uh, a little awkward uh, to work out, certainly in the beginning, maybe it still is, is how to align the holes on the disc to the holes on the sander. I saw a thumbnail on uh, for a YouTube video, and what he showed to do was to put a couple of fat dowels into the uh, sander uh, to align the disc with them and bring them home like that. And I thought, okay, that, that works really, really well. I don't happen to have the right uh, diameter of um, dowel, but I do have a 3D printer. And so I printed this is just uh, four, let's call them plastic uh, dowels held together in a, in a ring and uh, 
placed into the disc like this and they'll find their holes like that and when the disc gets lowered everybody is aligned and happy uh, so that's a small step forward in making this uh, an easy job to do so a small step compared to using dowels and then the dowels themselves are a large step compared to trying to align it by eye and by smell um, now this little device uh, is also useful uh, when I get a, a package of uh, discs and I want to put them in a tray uh, sometimes they come and they're all misaligned and so I can take them one at a time and uh, slip them slip them onto uh, this thing and then as each one gets added it falls into register uh, in the end I have a nice pack of uh, almost perfectly concentric uh, discs that will just drop into the holder. Okay, that's it for me for today. I hope you found the uh, content uh, amusing and maybe even a little instructive. Um, remember, make some time for your passion and if you can share it, even better. Bye for me for now.